my experience was really good. Um, I used it so much throughout this whole entire semester. Um, I think it's a really important thing to have, especially since you can have it on your device, because it's good to have a book, but it's a lot better to have it online because you can take it anywhere. If you want to go, um, I don't know, sit down somewhere, like in the library or anything, you take it with you. So we don't always want to be carrying around a book. We usually always have our device with us, so it's a lot simpler to just have it right on our computer, especially if we're over like at somebody's house and we're like, can we use your computer? You know, it's so much simpler than to have to always carry. It's a very positive one. I love the accessibility to the book. I didn't have to carry a big old book around um, most days. I really liked how I can really access the book anywhere. Um, and besides the fact that it's free, um, I really like just the whole idea of using an online book. My experience using OpenStax is great. It was my first time using one of their books and I'm grateful for the service. I hope they create more content because I would really like to avoid getting cancer from McGraw Hill into Pearson Education. While I've used online resources before, this is the first time that I've actually used an online textbook, and it did take me a bit of adjustment, um, but also just the idea that I was able to utilize this resource free of charge was amazing to me, and I love the idea that that um, is accessible to students who perhaps can't afford a $100 textbook. I like the fact that it was simple to read and it was e very easy to understand. Um, there are multiple things I liked about the textbook. Uh, each chapter is broken into different learning objectives, which made it easier to follow along. The textbook provided charts and articles that relate to the real world, uh, giving an insight on how the course materials are applied to the field of sociology. And at the end of each chapter, there was a chapter review that went over key terms, a summary of each section, questions that relate to each section, and further research, I've wanted to continue learning more. Um, after this, at the end of each chapter, it made it easier to review previous chapters without having to reread re the entire chapter. I enjoyed it. I liked how it was easy to access. I didn't have to pay for it, obviously, as a broke college student. And it was easy to maneuver around the textbook. Every section, I just had to look it up and just click on the link. Is that... Since it was online, I was able to access it anywhere, uh, making it a lot easier to complete the assignments and study. <clears throat> Get rid of some of the text because it's too hard to use it all. So maybe just simplifying it a little bit more and giving a little more examples. Um, just to clarify, because I know sometimes the examples are kind of hard to follow. Most I would want to improve about the text would be the review questions at the end. I did not, I noticed that if you were studying chapter 8, sometimes you would be asked a question from chapter 5. Um, I'm sure the purpose behind that is to make sure you really grasp the concept. Um, but I think it could have been more focused towards a knowledge check pertaining to that specific chapter. My experience using Concept Coach was actually really well. I, um, every time I went in there and I completed my quizzes, um, it was really helpful for class at the end it gives you the correct answers if you got them wrong so I think that's a really good tool for studying and um, for the exams. I actually liked how um, Concept Coach uh, the, you just link from reading and then to the test and then you can there's actually a link that goes right back to reading and I, I'm not too sure uh, it goes right back to where you were off um, from what I remember. Um, and within a click of a button or two, maybe. Um, I believe it's just less of a hassle with having to open so many t other tabs just like to get to the test. Only because I'm only usually looking, I'm 
I'm not usually looking at two or three things at a time, so I have, always have a couple of tabs open, and then having so many open because of one thing that I'm trying to get to always confuses me, and I end up going to the wrong thing, and it's, yeah, it's less of a hassle because it links just direct you directly I to... I like Constant Coach. It was really fun to actually just, not fun, but it was better to just go back and uh, answer the questions right after not having to do it, like, in class on a piece of paper. I, I liked Concept Coach a lot. I think that it was easier, and I think that after you get done reading, your, your mind kind of goes like, uh. So then when you do the Concept Coach, and you have to, like, redog, it helps you redog your memory, and it's it's really good. What I didn't like about Concept Coach is that you have to keep signing into the to concept coach to do the reading assignment questions. What could be improved is that you can just simply click on the jump to concept coach and it would take you to the questions. I think the only thing that open stacks is missing is video examples or demonstrations to help grasp the information we are learning. Um, I think concept coach, um, did a good job because in some of the questions, uh, they had a text bar, so before you would actually enter the multiple choice question, you would have to en like enter your opinion, and then it would show you like the answers that you have <coughs> to um to choose. So I and it would only do that for some some of it. So I feel like maybe just adding it to every single question because that way you know people are actually reading and actually understanding, and actually have to think and not just guess. Well, the program itself was very buggy and I had many issues. When I'd open the site, it would ask for my login information multiple times, and sometimes I would have to refresh uh, multiple times in order to log in. Another issue I had was when I went to answer a question, it would have me refresh the page before each question in order to answer it, and I found it frustrating spending extra time to do this. A uh, possible improvement could be making it easier to go back to the reading section after you start doing the, the multiple choice section. Or the, um, because I found myself getting stuck on questions and having to go back to read the material again. So, overall, if they could make it easier to go in between the reading portion and answering the questions, that'd be great. Or maybe if they, they made it easier for you to answer questions rather than having to refresh the page over and over again. I'm not sure if anyone else had this problem. So the, the thing I like about Concept Coach is that um, those things that I didn't answer correctly, um, I could go back then and research why I didn't understand or why I didn't answer the question correctly. The fact that a Concept Coach, that if you get the answer wrong, that it gives you the right answer so that you know what to re like fin like fix and um, work on, that's what I liked about it. Um, basically, to use it, because there's no better way to use that. Usually I go to the library since I can't afford to buy every textbook. So I would go to the library and check it out. With the open stacks, I could look it up on my phone, on Canvas, and go straight to the app. And it's not, it doesn't take too long. And it's quick to get there. So I really enjoyed using the open stacks. I would definitely recommend that you use the, uh, what is it called? Search this tip book bar available it's in the top right of when you're in a chapter um it lets you put in keywords or a sentence or something like that and it'll pop up um everything close to it and you just you yeah you have to scam through those but i mean you have to read anyways don't be lazy i think that helped a lot i didn't find that until like the middle of the course and after that yeah it helped a lot other than that, I was going back and reading through everything and then trying to find what I was just reading. Because I would read a question and I knew where it was. I mean, like what it was. I just didn't know where it was. So, yeah, that link, the bar. The best there, advice you know, really would absolutely not would be to not try to do the longer reading assignments in one day. Um, I had a couple of four to five hour marathons trying to get all of those reading assignment questions in by the deadline. And um, I realized I could have avoided that had I done it in smaller sections, which really is the advantage of Concept Coach because it will um, 
it will save those questions, those answers for you and show you the progress so you know what you need to go back and pick up. And then lastly, I would just um, encourage people to watch the accompanying video resources. They really enhance the concepts being presented in each of the modules. So I enjoyed the course very much. I enjoyed having the online textbook once I kind of learned how to use it um, for myself and I really enjoyed using Concept Coach. Thank you. I would say for the book, take your time to read the book. For Concept Coach, use, review the questions and use context clues in the book to help answer the question. Get an iPad. It's so much easier to use your text off the iPad than carrying a big book. Plus, you can have it on the go. You can go somewhere and you can have your iPad and you can do your work anywhere. You're not just confined in one spot like a desktop. Also with an iPad, um, what's cool is the textbook is free, which is awesome, especially being a college student and a mom. And that helped out so much. I appreciate this book and I appreciate it being free and I recommend it to anybody and they should do this OER textbook for every single class. It will help everybody out. Thank you.